Was Moon Betrayed? How Toffee Could Have Learned of the Whispering Spell. This theory comes from our own and newest member, Dysgraphic Ben, who has also contributed to the Star vs. Amino group. Greetings, starlings and starlets of YouTube! The battle for Muni gave us a lot to add to the history and past of Queen Moon, King River, and Toffee, to name only a few. And there's a lot of things we could go into, discuss, and theorize about. For now, let's focus on one thing. One very crucial detail, possibly overlooked, that relates to the show's past and present, and could greatly affect the future. It all goes back to Season 1 and Toffee before he got that nasty sunburn. In the final episode of Season 1, Toffee tells Star to use the Whispering Spell to destroy the wand. This leads to... Well, obviously you know what happens. And if you don't, then why are you watching this video? Anyway, here's a big question that episode raised for me. How did Toffee learn of the Whispering Spell? Some speculate that Toffee is a descendant of Queen Eclipsa, and he learned of it somehow from her. But if this were the case, why not use it himself to destroy the wand? Even if you assume he knew what was going to happen, though judging by his expression, I'm not sure he did, why make Star say it when he could? The only thing I can conclude is he knew of the spell, but he didn't know the words. That's assuming, though, that the wand's owner doesn't need to be the one to say it. So if Toffee didn't know the words for the spell, it's less likely Eclipsa in some way told him about it. Though I'll concede not entirely impossible. This at least shows the possibility that someone else could have told him about it. But who? The spells of the butterfly family would seem like a very well-guarded secret. Especially something like the Whispering Spell. Of course, that doesn't mean that somebody close to a member of the family couldn't learn of the spell's existence, which means someone close to Moon could have betrayed her and told Toffee about the Whispering Spell's existence and what it could do. Still, who could have told him? I think the answer lies in the episode Moon the Undaunted. All the people involved in the meeting witnessed Moon's actions against Toffee, making them all potential subjects. But only one makes sense to me. Someone on the High Commission seems pretty unlikely, as they seem loyal to both the Butterfly family and Glossaric. Mina Loveberry might be crazy, but from their interaction in the episode, I doubt she would betray Moon. She is also still considered a hero on Muni by Star's account in Starstruck. The big cat monster, whoever or whatever he is, wanted to sign a peace treaty, and considering Moon kind of declared war on the monsters, it's unlikely she'd share info like the Whispering Spell with him. That guy with the scars ended up babysitting Star, so I'm going to say he's very unlikely to have betrayed Moon. River? That's an obvious no. But since he and Moon ended up together, that would certainly be cause for jealousy on the part of another. Someone who probably fancied Moon himself. Or at the very least saw her as a means to the throne. Someone a little too princely and perfect that probably wouldn't handle rejection or failure well. Can you guess who I'm thinking of? Count Mildrew. Dun, dun, dun! First of all, aside from the Monster King, Count Mildrew is the only other character that was there that we have yet to find out as of this video and before the rest of Season 3, where he is now. Second, even for royalty, Mildrew's behavior is almost too sensitive, too princely, too perfect. When Moon rides out to meet Toffee and his army, he's also awfully quick to say she's dead and even starts mourning her. He doesn't even try to protect her. This is all really suspicious. As a count, he is royalty, and his appearance suggests Moon and heritage. If Moon were to have met her end in her encounter with Toffee or at any point without an heir, it's possible the title of ruler of Muni could have, in theory at least, gone to him. He also seems to be trying to win over Moon, possibly with the hopes of being her boyfriend. Still, I'll admit, 
This sensitive Prince Charming thing could be genuine. I'm just skeptical. Third, let's consider what likely happened after the episode's end. Moon said, I will hunt down the remains of the monster army and scatter them without country or leadership. That sounds like a pretty big and therefore time-consuming venture. It is also likely that at some point in time during this conflict that not only did little Chauncey die, poor little guy, but Moon and River grew closer. You know, smooch buddies. On the lips. Moon and Toffee also probably fought or encountered each other more than once during this time as well. But it's unlikely she tried to use the same dark spell again. But of course, the threat was always present for Toffee. It's during this time of raging war and budding romance that Mildrew could have tried to betray Moon. And possibly even made a deal with Toffee. Maybe even with the condition that Mildrew would become king of Muni and told him about the whispering spell. The birth of Star probably threw their plans off as well, since she would be the legitimate heir to the throne. Of course, this is all just a theory, a game. <coughs> and was probably pushed along a little by my own pen and imagination. While this could answer our question of how Toffee learned about the whispering spell, it just raises even more. Chief among them being, where then is Count Mildrew now? He could have been discovered before he could get the words for the spell, if at all, to Toffee. He may have even been banished for his crimes, which is why we don't see him now. However, he was mentioned by Etheria, one of Moon's relatives, in the episode Game of Flags as someone Moon could have married instead of River. Although, this didn't really explain where he was at that point in time. It is also possible that, since he's a count, he has his own area of Muni to govern, and that's why we haven't seen him. At least, not yet. For now, we'll just have to wait and see how the story unfolds when Season 3 continues. Thanks for watching. Peace through Nacho, Star Children. Did you enjoy the video? Be sure to click the like button, share it with fellow Star vs. fans, and subscribe for future content. Check out our YouTube channel for more videos, as well as the Star vs. the Forces of Evil Amino group.